What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. In today's video, we are talking about preventative maintenance on your humidifier. If you have one or you don't know you have one, well, now is the time to figure it out because it is an integral part of your indoor air quality. You should be changing the water pad on it twice every heating season. And as we are in the midst of heating season, it's time to check it out. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to do this. Um, these filters are between seven and $10, and they don't break the bank, and they keep that indoor air quality uh, tip top. So you don't wanna be ingesting any mold or uh, nastiness that just accumulates on these water pads. You know, it is something that you definitely wanna take care of. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin, and I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So let's head on downstairs and knock this project out. All right, guys, so in your basement or in your utility room, you probably have a humidifier that's mounted on the side of the return air duct. So um, this is one of those things I always call a, uh, a Saturday uh, slippers project. So it's very, very easy. You have a little thumb screw on the bottom of your humidifier, and you literally just loosen it off um, and what it does is secure the cover to the front of it. So once you've got your uh, thumb screw all the way unscrewed, you literally just need to pull up on your cover and unseat it here and pull it off. So it's as simple as that. There's no, um, there's no water line connected to your cover. It's just your actual plug here that's connected. So you can go ahead and put that down you want to replace this pad. So this pad is an evaporative pad that literally gets water um, trickled down over it and then your fan just pushes the air through it. So the key to taking this out is first taking your drain tube off. So the drain tube here has a little, um, a little guy that you just literally undo with your fingers here. Um, I'll do it with two hands after I get the uh, camera set back down you take this thing out and then we're gonna put this on the bench and I'm gonna show you exactly uh, what you need to do. There's a water line that connects to the top. You simply pull it off and then you can pull it out after you get your drain tube disconnected. Um, on this model, you do not need to disconnect the drain tube. You literally just need to take the, uh, the filter media out. So good time to clean up all this residue and uh, make that all nice and pretty before you put it back in. Okay, so if you are going to your big box store or shopping for your media here, um, the way to do this is simply just measure the dimensions of this media. So this is a 10 by 13 filter, and you can see it's just literally saturated with water. Um, this goes in the trash, it's pretty nasty. All right, now all this did was just uh, basically snap into little grooves here. So once you get your 10 by 13 uh, filter figured out, you can literally just go to the store and buy a 10 by 13 filter. And as long as your dimensions are the same, it really doesn't matter what brand it is. It's all effectively just a, a paper on top of some aluminum foil type thing. So your water flows down through the top and you can see your flow paths. It evenly distributes the water over the evaporative screen. And then you literally just pop this back together. So put it back in here and pop it back in this side and it is back together. We're gonna put it back in the humidifier. Okay, so now that we've got everything cleaned out, we're gonna go ahead and, and push our uh, humidifier screen up into place. I'm gonna take the, uh, the water supply tube and we're gonna reconnect it here at the top. It's literally just pushed over the little barbed fitting. You can literally do it with one hand and shove it up into place. Now, you make sure it's properly seated and it's into place and now we'll put our cover back on. It's as easy as that. Thank you. 
Now we have reinstalled our thumb screw and reseated our connector and we are ready to rock and roll. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Quick, short, and simple. Uh, the humidifier pad is not rocket science, but it should be changed twice every heating season. So a good reminder for you guys out there that you should be watching your indoor air quality and making sure that you're breathing some good quality air in your home. So I hope you give my video a thumbs up. Maybe you give it a thumbs down, whatever you're into. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, well, it's time to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next video.